Man like Bing, Bing, Bing. You got a trimmer for today, innit? Be honest. Nah, no, I didn't. Be honest, didn't, bro. bro. Be honest, Dean. Why are you trying be honest, bro. <laughs> I'm saying just be honest for once. Did you get a trim for the video? Nah. I had a trim for two weeks. What a liar, bro. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Living Life Fast and today we've got man like Beans on the camera. Can you believe it? He's back. You know what, Dean? Let me just... Beans, how you Ooh, doing, beans. mate? Yeah, I'm alright. How you doing? Yeah, man. Like, you know what? I'm not going to lie to you. I'm seeing man's, yeah, yeah. timestamp, Beans, Time spent. 5 minutes 51 seconds into random videos. Beans. Um, no excuses today because no, we're in the M5, so... That's right. You need to right. get Let me get just take over this now, mate. So basically, guys, we're going to go for the final drive in my F90 M5. If you're new to the channel or you haven't tuned in for a while, I'm actually doing a giveaway on this car. Well, a competition, should I say. So I run a platform called LLF Games where you can purchase a ticket to basically win this car. So tickets up for this are $24.99. There's 4,500 entries available. We've sold over 3,000. The draw date is the 4th of August. Competition ends the day before, which is the 3rd. So I don't know when you're watching this, you could be watching it on the day that the draw is. So you've literally got a couple of seconds left to get yourself a ticket. But this is an incredible car. I've owned it for a year. And I quickly just wanna say for anybody that's sick of car giveaways or competitions, just switch the video off. I get your frustration, but this is my business and this is what I use to support Living Life Fast, yeah? I totally get the frustration. So many platforms out there, but as I say, it's my company, LLF Games. So yeah, 1,000 horsepower, yeah? Me and Beans, we're gonna go for a final drive. Times five of the power to go for it's nothing, bro. Quickly, yeah. before we jump out in the M5, yes. we've exposed Oscar a bit, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, we've exposed Oscar. We've... Yeah, so go on. Go well, on he Beans. exposed Kill himself, it. basically. He told us what modifications he had. And right. when he told us, I had a few messages from a few people saying, bro, he's not 200 brake. He shouldn't have done that to you. Right. And with the 318 diff, he lied. He's very calm. Watch his face, re-watch the video. He's so calm and placid about it. He caught us slipping, but it's calm. Oscar was never the target, but now so I'm what, coming how have you exposed him? So what are you trying to say? He was more than 200, yeah? He's definitely more than 200. With the manifold, the decat, the air filter, the slight modification he had, the fueling he's had yeah. done, he never told us about. He's saying 200, but he's not. He knows he's not. What but he won't race me again, though. Pardon? What do you reckon he's more 300? No, nah, I would say he's more 240, 250. Yeah? Yeah, I reckon he's more 240, 250. Man like beans, you know. Come on, real. Oscar, if you're watching, you just got drawn out, mate. I Another know you're on holiday you. right now, enjoying yourself with the family, but you've got to come take care of business. I think we've got to get the cars on the dyno is what we need to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a part two, yeah? yeah part we definitely need to soon. expose Oscar. Yep. Yeah, we need to, I think we need to slap the cars on the dyno. That's the best thing to do. Um, but you know what, let's just cut that. Let's jump out in the M5. Oscar, come back! Just quickly want to do a little walk around for anybody that isn't aware of the spec. I know most of you are, you're probably sick of hearing it. So it's a fully forged RK Auto Works stage three engine build. So it's got a forged bottom end, forged pistons, rods, rod bearings. It's got a modified crankshaft. Uh, it also runs uh, upgraded Garrett GT30 76R hybrid turbochargers. Uh, we are running a methanol injection kit. We've got a meth controller, which is in the glovey, like sort of under the steering wheel. You've got a meth tank in the boot. Uh, it's approximately a thousand horsepower. I say approximately because I've not actually put this car on a dyno, but these cars with the spec, you know, I've done the numbers, I've done draggy times, like 100 to 200, 4.3 seconds, uh, 60 to 130, does it in 4.99. Those are the times that only a thousand horsepower M5 can do. We're running MSS suspension, so you can see the car is slightly lowered. We are running these beautiful, beautiful HRE R101 lightweight wheels. They're forged aluminium. They're eight and a half kilos per corner, 21 inch all round, wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. Almost new. Carbon ceramic brakes from factory, talking of 8,000 pound option. The car itself is finished in snapper rock blue. I don't know why I just scream like that, Beans. Yeah, Snapper Rock Blue. We're going to get the cold blue, mate. Well, yeah? What do you think of the car? I just went into robot mode, fam. I love it. Yeah? Yeah, it's a daily driver. It's one of the best cars. I mean, we obviously go around, been to JF Race Wars in it. We're going to miss it, aren't we? So, yeah, carbon it's ceramic brakes all round. Finish the Snapper Rock Blue. Uh, obviously, eight speed ZF box. Engine, it's a 4.4 litre V8 uh, twin turbo engine from factory. Yeah. And that, Beans. M5, golly, yo. 
there. Man, you know what? 4th of August is going to be a mad day. There's a Civic that's going to get gapped, by the way. Bro, the Civic is not getting gapped, mate. It's getting gapped. No way. It began to rain, chucking it down with rain. I started to get a bit cocky, but the combination of inexperience cocky. and gathering in confidence driver, I lost a little focus. You lost focus. Before yeah. you knew it, I had a focus. I'd spun the FW15. That's what he used. Good thing about Ricard. Ricard. Good thing wrong. about Ricardo. <laughs> you have to be going, so they need to come to the car with a little ratchet spanner and manually work the car back looking forward while working the spanner. Do you want the spanner, yo? Barrel. Right. So as mentioned bring in my gate. So as I mentioned, I've been driving this car for the last six weeks and you know what? Like, it, it's weird, like, YouTube ownership isn't the same as, like, every car I've ever owned in the past has never been like now, you know? These cars, unfortunately, it, it, it's just for content, that's it, you know? Of course I love this car to death. I'd love to be in a position to just keep this car forever, but I'm not in that position, you know? Every car you see in the unit, it's here for content, you know? That is it. There's one or two cars that would stay if YouTube stopped now. As mentioned, still can can honestly say my favourite overall car. I'll probably say it with every one of my cars, but you cannot. Come on, Dean. No, you, you've been driving it a lot as this well. This is definitely, definitely the favourite car of all of them. You can sit there and say some of your others, but as a daily, you cannot beat it, man. What, we've got performance that genuinely beats a McLaren. Fuck, you know, I can't see, man. Like, come on, it, it genuinely beats a 720S. Yeah. And look, you can drive to the shop. I've got the baby seat in the back. And look, we're just driving now. There's no compromise. The gearbox still feels lovely. You know, it shifts like normal. There's no aggressive bump into gears or, you know, the throttle's not lumpy or, you know, it's just a normal F90 M5. But, you know, my honest opinion, if you're running an F90 M5 right now, you're thinking about tuning, just go stage two. That's all you need to do. Uh, talk. <laughs> Talk's nuts, isn't it? Talk's disgusting. It's third into four. And you know what? Even after driving the GTR, this car still feels so fast. You've got to go MDM. Yeah. But I mean, handling like. That's <laughs> Third to fourth is just. Like, yeah. And you know what? With the ceramics, my God. Second into third, fourth. Round town, this car's still another level. So but can you believe I bought this car on 5,000 miles? It's now on 13,000, just touched 13,000. Not even a slight niggle, you know. I don't know how many miles we've done with the built engine. You know, I know I've done whatever I've done to this car, but even a stock F90 M5, honestly, like, it's where it's at. It'll be good to see what the next, the, the winner, of the raffle, does with it, where he takes it. Overall, this drive is, is just overall comfortability. You can just jump in it, drive it. No issues. It's like having the old school Nokia. It's so easy and comfortable. Man, dropping bars now, yeah. Dropping imagine, bars. imagine this, right? We're driving the M5. This is how many excuses Dean makes, right? <laughs> his literally his middle name should be excuses, right? We're driving in the M5, bro. Man's not even been sleep. I'm in the passenger. I just want to chill, innit? This guy just wants to put his foot down everywhere, yeah. So we're just driving on the motorway, yeah. He puts his foot down, right? And I'm in the passenger, I'm like, what are you doing, Dean? Like, no, he like, didn't say like, that. What it, say? Wasn't, it was the passive aggressiveness. Okay, bro. passive aggressive. Like, bro, <laughs> jam in it, just chill. It was a, it was a, what are you doing, bro? I was like, my foot slipped. <laughs> <laughs> my foot slipped. He's like, that's his excuse, my foot slipped. Not even that, oh, bro, I wanted to just feel a bit of boost or a bit of, he's like, my foot slipped out my slipper, is what he said. Nah, Imagine that, he said you're his You're adding foot. the slipper in. Bro, you 100% said that. just like it's such an effortless power obviously x drive system so I, although we're we're all wheel drive you can't treat it like it's i mean like if i step on it now here now now nah. oh, wrong gear anyway pickups just insane yeah and and the brakes the brakes is where it's at man if you see the car wow video uh, uh how quick this car broke like i've said it with previous carbon ceramic cars is that you get a much more bitey feel but the performance feels similar to normal steel discs but the performance definitely is a lot better on this i mean this is like that's about 10 percent but i'm not even stepping on it and that's all this car is it's just a fast fast daily driver you know 
I know these are very capable cars, but I don't like to lean on the wheel. Since Dean driving anyway, he's put the steering wheel in Sport Plus. And um, I've not been a fan ever of Sport Plus, but you know what? It is actually a game changer driving the M5. You need that heavier wheel so you can actually drop your weight a bit on the wheel. Um, you just find yourself having to really like hold your arms up and being a bit more delicate with it. A lot of people that drive Golf R's and, and the RS3's, you can drive the M5 like that, but you do got to be a little bit careful. It's a heavy car, 1,950 kilos. It's not that it's ever snapped like a real wheel drive car, but it does wash out from the rear. It is a nice progressive slide when it steps out. It's not like, you know, my friend used to have a, who still has a B7 RS4. That car is all wheel drive. And when you really attack the corner, it would just snap like just uncontrollably almost this car what i've noticed is i'm sure it's a more rear biased uh, all-wheel drive setup but yeah it's a nice progressive slide it doesn't snap on you definitely got to be on guard like, even my r35 that car almost snaps from the rear like it's a bit slipperier this car just feels like a neutral 50 50 power slide when you do yeah man poor neglected m5 man like beans 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 you got a trimmer for today innit be honest nah, I didn't. be honest didn't, bro. bro be honest dean what are you be honest bro, bro. <laughs> i'm saying just be honest for once did you get a trim for the video nah i've had a trim for two weeks what a liar bro one thing i do want to point out is the m5 of course you know it's a big car but it really does feel big on the road like I mentioned uh, in the RS6 video the other day, the later Gen 1, that car on the road, it didn't feel big. Like it clearly is probably bigger than the M5, but from the wheel, it doesn't feel as big on the road. I'm not sure if visibility is that bit better, uh, but the M5, you know it's a big car. Yeah, no man, it's actually like, I've not been in the passenger in so long. It actually is really quick, isn't it? You know, really good. Opportunities being passed with Sony cars. See, that's the way, calm down, bro. You're accelerating over standing puddles and you just left the ground, bro. Usually, when Ricky's driving somebody else's car, you don't see him say stop, stop, stop. <laughs> yeah, Every bro. two minutes, all you hear with Ricky is calm down, bro. Calm down, bro. <laughs> it's not that you're traveling at speed, it's, it's the analyzing of the road, isn't it? Standing puddles. And I knew the point there where you just flattened the throttle. We left the ground, then you feel it leave. So, as the wheels leave the ground, that means the wheels are going to spin. As we grip, that's a straight send to the side. Nothing. See, it, it, it didn't give it you then, did it? You feel it second, it was like... Yeah, it was a bit It didn't dead. go, it, did it? Third, it just... You could feel it's that. because obviously you've got traction on now. Yeah, man. So, guys, just a quick reminder. You can win this car for $24.99. Uh, competition ends on the 3rd of August. And I'll be going live on LLF Games Facebook on the 4th. So, somebody's genuinely going to win this car for 25 quid obviously you buy one or two tickets maybe three you're going to increase your odds even more we're not waiting to hit 4500 entries i'm sure by the time this video's gone out we've done over 3000 another thing guys it is wet today as well so it could be extra careful obviously extra careful yeah brakes are just lovely man turns a lot into corners as well that's another thing very sensitive with steering. See that with a jump? Yeah. Not for all. guys i'm gonna end the video there um yeah i mean that is the final drive on the m5 as mentioned if the winner allows me to film him i'll definitely get him on cam take for a little spin even have him drive it possibly um but as i've already said and hopefully you have got the impression i'm still very in love with this car it would be awesome to keep it i've been dailying it for the last six weeks and uh, it is the perfect daily driver but these cars are not here for personal reasons they're here for content and of course i could have made more content with her but i don't like to force content on you guys i like to make natural videos there's loads of silly video ideas i've had but you've seen i bought a lot of different cars probably a little too many cars to be honest but without fail you know the ultimate daily driver a genuine supercar killer you know 
I know these cars in stock form run close to supercars, but this genuinely will smoke supercars. As mentioned, ticket links in the description below, $24.99. You can still win this car. We've sold well over 3,000 entries. There's a maximum of 4,500. Competition ends on the 3rd of August, which could be today, could be tomorrow. I don't know when I've uploaded this video. And the live draw is the very next day on the 4th of August. So Wednesday, 6 p.m., I'll be going live on the LLF Games Facebook, and uh, we'll be revealing the winner of this car it's gonna be mental to see who's won this car man so guys man hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel ticket links in the description below and uh yeah i'm out people see you soon You wanna go?